Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we've been out for, from the videos uh, for, for a bit but now we're back. Today what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be unboxing the Roomba J6 Plus. I've had this for about two weeks. I've tested this extensively uh, and uh, I have some words to say. Uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, so we will be unboxing and preparing you uh, what to expect from the box, what are the things that are included and um, then we'll move further towards uh, how the you know uh, vacuum is performing itself, uh, what, are the, what are some features, what are some good things, what are some bad things. Um, so yeah, let's, let's dive into it. Uh, the Roomba itself, this one, this model uses a camera and uh, camera to detect uh, things around it as well. It has uh, it has a feature which is some poop named feature, <laughs> uh, which uh, which really looks out for the poops. And uh, if there are any, if you have your four-legged family members at home, uh, it would make sure that your home doesn't turn into a mess after they've done their mess, right? So um, that's a good feature. I don't have any four-legged uh, family members, so I couldn't check it. Uh, but uh, the reviews say that it does work fine. Uh, it also looks out for wires around, uh, so if there are wires laying around, it does take captures of those uh, those times and then sends it through the app as well. I have this with the self-cleaning bin. Um, the overall design and structure and um, you know the sturdiness of the bin is pretty good. Uh, it has that space from where that, uh, that dust goes out. Uh, they did include one additional uh, vacuum bag, so that was a good touch. Uh, the vacuum bag itself, taking it out was not that tough my first time, so I didn't know much, but again, it was still not that tough. Um, the vacuum uh, bag efficiency is pretty good. It does uh, send out all the dust that it has collected from its bin to this vacuum bag, so I didn't find any issues in that. Uh, overall, uh, I think I like the design. It is not that tall. Um, the overall structure of it was pretty good. Uh, the rubber touches were good. Uh, the brittle was smooth. Uh, the tires were smooth. Uh, no problems with that. It did perform well on the carpets and on tiles um, in the sense that, I mean, when it's going around it, uh, it performs well, but uh, it does tend to miss some spots in my tests. Um, taking out the bin is easy uh, if you ever have to because again it's self-emptying so you wouldn't have to unless something is stuck there or you have to change that filter out but uh, overall the design structure was, was pretty decent. Uh, going on to the charging and docking itself again uh, I didn't find any issues on that. Um, cleaning the bin after docking again was not a problem. Uh, in later part of the video we will see uh, how loud uh, it is to empty the bin. Um, apart from the vacuum and the bin itself, uh, what we saw was the manual, which I never read. Uh, then there was the, the power cord, an extra filter, and then uh, one more thing was the extra brittle brush. brush. So um, overall, I, I think the brittle brush and the uh, the filter was a, was a good touch. Again, you know, uh, it does give you a sense of a bigger company selling you their products. Um, again, the structure and overall feel of um, the thing was pretty good. Uh, I would uh, want to. Uh, I, I really wish to uh, continue with this product. So after setting it up and everything, uh, and you see there is one more uh, Roomba there waiting for a review. Uh, I'll link that uh, Roomba review as well. Uh, initially, what it does is that it uh, tries to map around. Uh, it's not this fast. I have uh, fastened up the video, but. Um, it tries to map around the entire house and see what rooms you have. Uh, it also, I think, tells the carpeted rooms and the non-carpeted rooms. So it does a good job at that. Uh, overall, mapping of this thing is pretty good. It is a smart robot uh, in the sense that uh, it would, uh, you know, uh, work out in a way uh, that all the rooms are cleaned up in the minimal time that it could. Uh, it does crash into things sometimes. This is the room map layout that it did. Um, overall, the navigation of the robot uh, was pretty decent. I have not tested many robots, so I wouldn't be able to tell, but uh, the navigation uh, in the table, I mean, below the table or around was pretty good. 
uh, the the satisfaction you get after the robot is cleaning is good uh, due to the fact that it's cleaning and you know doing in clear clean lines so uh, after it's done you actually see clean lines of being vacuumed so um, you really tend to enjoy that and uh, I mean again the room mapping and uh, cleaning and stuff was pretty good it did go into corners and clean stuff up uh, but yeah it was okay i mean the one good thing about it again was that you could select which room it, you want to clean and it could go there and clean that room like kitchen for that matter uh again just a map of what uh cleaning it was uh doing where the cleaning was being done and all of those things now let's see uh the sound of this so as you saw the, the sound that it makes is pretty loud uh, but overall, uh, the vacuum sound is not that loud. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a good day.